Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install SEO Quake Chrome plugin for website SEO optimization. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome uh, and we will type into Google Chrome SEO Quake plugin. If you scroll past all the adverts, the first listing here will be for the extension. Let's click on that and then we'll go, to, go ahead and click on add to Chrome and then we'll click add extension. So you can see the extension is here, but when you click off, it's gonna get hidden. So you need to click on this little puzzle icon, scroll down and find SEO Quake, and then pin it here. Click the pin icon, and then it will be pinned to your taskbar at the top here in Google Chrome. So what is this plugin all about? If we go to my website as a good example, so I'm gonna to go to dcpweb.co.uk, you'll see the plugin automatically loads up. But you can click on it, and you can click this little um, this little icon here and that will turn the plugin on and off. So let's turn it on and it gives you some sort of little stats and information here. But I personally use this plugin for two purposes. One is to do diagnosis. So if I click on here, it will open up this information and it starts to tell me a bit about this page. So it's looking at the page title. So here you can see the page title, which is the little title that sits across here. Here you can see the meta description. Here you can see the URL. And here you can see other things like the keywords, the meta keywords. And most importantly, you can actually see all the header tags, right? So if you want to go and check out some of your competitor websites and see what h1 tags and h2 tags they're using and even look at your own website often i see customers come to me that have websites built for them previously and the header tag like the h1 tag will say welcome to my website or something that's not very descriptive about the business so we want to make sure that our header tags are optimized for search engine results you can see this h1 tag says web designers web design london and website designers so lo and behold if i go to google and type in web designers and then we look at the search results, we'll see that I'm link, you know, position one for the map listing. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we should see me here at position four. So, right, so you can see me at position four here, right? one, two, three, four. So I want to rank high for that keyword because it's very valuable. If my, in my previous tutorial, if you want to go and check that out about keyword surf, I'll show you this other plugin, which allows you to see the volume of traffic for a specific keyword. So let's go back to SEO Quake. And you can see some more information. Most importantly, it will tell you things like if any of your images have missing alt tags, so that's quite important. Then it'll give you your text to HTML ratio and it'll give you some other information. It'll tell you whether you're running, whether you're running um, a robot TXT, whether you have XML sitemap, whether your language has been defined. Uh, you've got you know, Favio icon, that's that little icon that sits in the top left hand corner. Like you see the SEO Quake one here. I've got one for DCP on my website. And it gives you lots of other information. Uh, it tells you whether you're using open graph where you've got schema running which is quite important for SEO so schema can help you to rank high uh, it helps you to get to like almost like position one in Google so if I open up Google and if you're running schema like if I did like 30 essential tips for website design let's just type that in correctly 30 central tips for website design, right? Uh, you can see my listing right here, right? And this is called like a zero position listing because it sits above all of the other search results. And it's it's got the nice little picture here and you've got the link here. Um, and this this particular page is running, um, uh, is running this um, schema, right? So it helps to rank it a little bit higher in the search engine to get better search results. And this is called a zero position. A lot of people look for these zero positions. I may make another tutorial about structuring blog posts and how to structure them correctly. So if we were to click on this blog post, this blog post has certain structure to it, which helps to rank it a bit better in the search engines. And I tend to write quite some quite long blog posts with a lot of information. So you feel free to visit my blog here and you can see a lot of different tutorials. If you want to click here and click on video, you can see all lots of video tutorials, lots of information around different subjects. You can click on the categories here and click on SEO, for example, and see a lot of SEO stuff here as well. So let's go back to our SEO Quake and this tool I use for one other purpose. I look at density. You can also look at internal links and external links. Um, those we'll kind of look at maybe in a separate tutorial, but you want a good in internal linking structure, but you also want to link out to some authoritative websites. So you can see here I'm linking out to Bootstrap, I'm link linking out to Google, uh, you know, to a few different uh, websites like YouTube and Facebook, you know, a few different places. 
Now, if we um, go ahead and look at the density, this is quite important as well. So you can see this homepage has almost 6,000 words. So it's quite heavy in terms of its written content. But when you look at the actual page itself, you know, you don't really see massive amounts of written content. I've kind of structured it in a way so that it's still user friendly. But at the same time, I'm going to be speaking to the search engines and giving the search engines lots of information, lots of words to eat for breakfast is what I call it, right? So you want to give the search engine good amount of content so that you can get good amount of keywords um, and you can rank these pages better in search engines, get better traction on your website, rank higher, get more traffic and then potentially get more customers. So there's a, a strategy behind it, you could say. But most importantly, you don't want to over um emphasize certain keywords so you can see that the website design these are all the singular keywords you can see that i've repeated 131 times but it only has a density of two percent and we try to keep our keyword density under three percent is probably the best option is to try and keep it all under three percent so these are like single keywords so i'm going to mention i'm a website design company so i'm going to mention that keyword a lot of times website design but if we go to two keywords then you can see your website website design your business uh, website design web development web designers you can see how many times you mentioned it and the density here as well is quite important and then you've got three keyword permutations right so some of these not may, may not make too much sense because it's taking like the the keywords and just joining them together but things like lead generation i want to mention that i want to mention certain keywords um in the three word permutation as well and you can see them all listed here Right, and it even goes to four, and then it goes to the um, original text. And you can see a full block of text here that is just for the home page, right? All of the written content on the home page. So, this is quite important to understand how many times you're mentioning keywords and its, its prominence and also its density. You want to keep that a sensible amount. Obviously, the more words you write, the more opportunities you've got to mention certain keywords on certain pages. So, I tend to write lots of fresh rich content on my pages and try and keep them updated a little tip for you and this is kind of not to do with seo quake but a little tip is to try and get things like testimonials and try and change them you know every so often try and change them try and get examples of blog posts and try and update these on your home page so that there's some fresh new content on your page it's not always the same thing and try and rotate around your portfolio so if you're i don't know a building company you might show different examples of building work i happen to show examples of website projects that i've worked on and i try and rotate these around or change them at least once every couple of months once a month and same with the, the testimonials i get quite a lot of them and same with my blog posts so these three sections here tend to change uh, at least once a month something will change on that the rest of the content is what it is and i'll try and update it if any new technology comes out or i want to emphasize on a new product then i'll update that as well okay so you get some other information up here i'll leave you to go and research that out but you've got like pinterest pins and you know your facebook stuff and quite a few different other sort of ranking signals in here and how many pages are being indexed on google on all the different search engines you get some ranking algorithms here uh, and some other useful information you can just click here and look at the source code as well so if you want to look at my source code i've got no problem with you doing that you can go and learn from the source code the way that it's written like all of the the meta tags for uh, the og tags the twitter card and the facebook and so forth and all your metadata um, and in here you can see the actual structured content for the schema right okay let's go ahead and close that that's how i use the SEO Quake plugin on my particular website or when I'm working on client projects um, if I want to go in and examine their website and just do a quick overview and just get a bit of a quick understanding of you know what they've done especially I look at the diagnosis that's probably what I look at first I look at the, the header tags do they even make sense um, and then I look at if there's missing alt tags and I look at their page titles and so forth but you can use this same strategy for your own business just like I use it for my business okay let's go ahead and close down this web browser that's how you go about installing SEO Quake Chrome plugin for website optimization and I hope you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial